What's up, day to day, man? Real talk, son. Like you know, I work around a lot of females, man. They keep me on my toes, you dig? But like I always say, man, work hard, come back home to the crib, have a nice drink, man, relax. And when we got some boxing, let's put a little more in there. And when you got some boxing to look forward to, sit in the man cave, it makes it all worth it, man. Makes it all worth it, man. And we got a good one for you cocksuckers today, man. We got a good one, man. Man. Mm, your boy CBT, we shaking out dead people. Ah, hold on. Jesus, this is working. <laughs> Listen, man, we got a great show today, man. No editing, man. We keep it like that, there. You heard? Listen, people, we got Ortiz. We got Virgil Ortiz. We got my boy, Maurice Hooker. You dig what I'm saying? We got a great show, man. They about to go down in about 14, what, 20 minutes on this thing, man. We got to talk. I talk before the fight starts, man. We going to give you live, blow by blow, coverage of this whole thing. But the boy CBT got to talk to you for a minute, man, because this fight here is going to tell us a lot about Virgil Ortiz, man. I'm a big fan, first of all. You heard? Listen, man, I had a long day, man. I had to get some of that out. Listen, people, you understand something? We got Virgil Ortiz, man. We got the guy, I'm telling you right now, he putting the 147 division on notice, man. We got Maurice Hooker coming up to 147 thinking he going to be able to do some things with his length and his size and his athleticism. But I'm here to tell you, he's dealing with a guy, Virgil Ortiz, that can not only get in the pocket and move and shake, got power in both hands, go to the body, come back up top. He from Dallas, but at the end of the day, he got a great pedigree. You see what I'm saying? He's not like the weight bully Spence, you dig? Moving from Long Island to Dallas, switching sides and things of this nature. You heard, you heard, you seen what happened to Pop when he did that. You heard, he got Pop missing, people. What I'm trying to tell you is, Virgil Ortiz is going to put on a master class, a master show, and I think it's going to be a great performance by your boy, Hooker, but I think Virgil's going to be a little bit too much for him. Now, I'm expecting Hooker to go to the body. I'm expecting him to push the pressure. You dig what I'm saying? Get up under that long jab of Maurice Hooker. You see me? Use angles because that's what I like about him. He's not a Mexican, traditional Mexican that gets in the inside and brawl and got some pop. The kid got athleticism. The kid got head moving. The kid got a great double jab and slipping and dipping. He likes to split the guard. Listen, he punched through the guard. The kid is elite, man. And I like his chances against Crawford. We'll get to that in a minute. But what I want him to do and show and display some of the things that I've seen in his, what, all these knockouts he got. You really can't see underneath the knockouts, right? But no, his skills underneath that, people. The guy got a great jab. Now he got to make sure he can dictate the pace. Now he got to make sure he can get into the range because Maurice Hook is long. And when you got a long guy, that jab can actually nullify a lot of different things. We'll get to Maurice Hook and what he need to do. We got on that clock 13. 13. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, I need him to dictate that the pace, right? That means how fast or slow the fight wants to should go. Now, if he can do that, then he's making Maurice fight his fight. You understand me? Now, get up under the jab. Very important. If you can get up under the, under the jab and be successful at it, then we're saying, Crawford, look out. The way Bully Spence, look out. Uh, Danny, look out. Danny moving to 154. Okay, there you dig. I mean, this guy can do some different things against even a Sean Porter because if he can get past a long jab, he can get past a short jab. The kid is elite. He can go to the body on Maurice, push him to the ropes. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 and then throw combinations, which he's beautiful at, and open up Maurice. You open him up. You want Maurice to, 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 to fire a fight with you. You want him to, you know what I'm saying, open up. Because when he opens up, he's exposing his chin. is up high. You dig? And he's one of those guys like that other cocksucker that fights short. Or he fights the other guy's fight. And I'm telling you right now, if he does that, it's going to be a straight knockout by the fifth round. Maurice Hooker, on the other hand, he needs to show that he can deal with the pressure. He can deal with the value punching. He can deal with fighting at 147 and fight at the pace that he likes to fight at because you got to remember, this is his first fight at 147, his first real fight. So I'm telling you right now, the pace is different. The power is different. We just hit different at 147. So he got to be prepared and understand that he got to keep the jab and he got to keep his legs moving. Every time your boy Ortiz try to slip and dip and try to get inside, he got to double it up. You see what I'm saying? Hit him with that too. Hit him with that nice hook that he has. They don't hook, call him hooker for nothing. You heard me? So at the end of the day, man, both guys got some things they can do. I'm not a big fan of Maurice Hooker. I think he's still fighting that amateur style. You heard? And I think that, uh, 
That's going to be to his detriment tonight. People, Virgil Ortiz is the next star. Everybody's talking about him and your boy Bud Crawford or even the weight bully Spence because they're looking past Maurice Hooker. That could be dangerous, but I'm telling you right now, the kid is so elite that we need to do it. We got to match him up. And I fear for Crawford fighting Ortiz. I fear it, but I love boxing. I want to see it happen. We'll love to see the weight bully Spence throw his hat in there first because Earl, cause, you know, Crawford deserves that. But uh, listen, you got a young hungry lion coming up. You dig? Crawford was once there. The way Billy Smith was once there. A lot of these guys was once there. They understand the danger of that. You dig? Uh, high risk, low reward. But at the end of the day, Virgil Ortiz is going to make a statement tonight. I guarantee you there's a knockout by the sixth to the ninth round. I'm not sure uh, what the bookies is talking. I'm not betting on this fight. I came in late like I had a whole crazy week. You dig? But I'm happy I made the fight to bring it to you live. Bring it to you live round by round. So go to the next video, man. We're going to pop this thing off. And I'm going to give it to you how I give it to you, man. Because nobody on YouTube can do it like I do it. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Let's watch Ortiz. Let's watch how he's able to get under that jab. That's going to be the key to success against Crawford, against the way Bully Spence. And his footwork, his side-to-side -side movement. The kid is elite, man. I'm telling you. And he let his hands go. Like, both hands got power in it. So, yo, know, Maurice is going to be getting dragged and tagged tonight, man. Unless Maurice show me that the jab, he can't get past it. Unless Maurice show that, look, there's some power behind this thing. So, that makes Ortiz go to plan B. You dig what I'm saying? And do some different things. And, and then we'll see if he's up for the challenge. Has my boy Virgil fought the competition of a Maurice Hooker? No. But that's why this fight is so significant. That's why this fight is so important. If he can do it, if he can show us that I'm elite and he blow past Maurice Hooker, I don't want to hear Maurice was whack, he was trash. No, he's a guy that can do some different things. You did. He held the belt. The guy is okay. I'm going to look at him as a six. You know, if I rate him between 0 to 10, I'm going to give him a 6. I think he's a B-level fighter. He will be a gatekeeper at 147, in my opinion. We'll see. But at the end of the day, the fight about to go down. We got 8 minutes before it go down. So rock with your boy. Subscribe to the channel. Go to the next video. You rocking with the best. Holla at your boy. Trying to be legendary in the city where fucking up is hereditary. Father and son. Nah, I'm watching my daughter. I ordered that Nora cut that I bought her, but it didn't help with the Katrina waters. Young mortar had my dreams slaughtered. As a teen, the fiends helped my self esteem sorta. Shit. Thank the Lord, I'm a seller, not a buyer. Bagging up soft white, off white like Mariah. Tired, but smart as a whip. In the home cell, no deodorant. That was awkward as shit. Feeling like my dreams went on six park is a myth. I mean, I'm awesome and shit, but who gon' market a pimp? I split my soul in these rap niggas, call it a diss. Watching the game change, make me call and it quits. But Lord knows it's a lonely road, bartering bricks with niggas in the hood, shooting like JR from the neck. I bet you whatever, I'll be legendary. <laughs> Jimbo, you ain't ready for this, son. <laughs> when I come through, I'm bringing bangers, man. You better tell Smells to gear up, man. Y'all better get ready, man. <laughs> I got some shit for y'all dudes, B.